Hi, I'm Pastor Bill Vigio of Meet of the Word Ministries. I want to talk to you more about feeding your faith and starving your fears. And this great chapter in Hebrews chapter 11 discusses some of the great faith people, or lists them and tells a little bit of their story um, of the Old Testament saints. And they did profound things in comparison to what we see so many Christians doing today. But the first two I want to mention here today talks about the substance of faith and, and everything. And, and the first one is Abel. Now, in that chapter, it says, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than his brother Cain did. And by that testimony, he was declared and he had obtained righteousness with God. Now, very important for us to understand that Abel you know, uh, was killed by his brother Cain because he was hated so much because his brother was so jealous. And we've got a lot of Christians today that really have to, you know, suppress their jealousies. That's part of the signs of your unbelief. So deal with jealousy. Examine yourself. The Bible says examine ourselves. The next person that is mentioned is Enoch. Enoch was our first example of being raptured. The Bible says that he walked with God for 365 days, and he is recorded and explained some of the things he had God had given him a vision in, he, uh, way back even before Noah, uh, that are recorded in, in the New Testament, uh, in that the fact that he saw Jesus returning with his saints. But here is his faith. It says, but without faith, or he was translated, he was raptured by faith. And with then, then God's word said, Without faith it's impossible to please God, for he that comes to God must believe that he is God, must believe that he is, not only believe that he exists, however, but believe that he exists as God, and believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And so this is another sign of feeding your faith, somebody that will diligently feed upon the Word of God in search for truth, in search for finding out what is the truth, what is God's way as opposed to man's way, or your own selfish ways if, you, if you're selfish in any way, shape, or form. So I just wanted to mention those two things. We want to offer God a sacrifice. God receives that. And again, the, today, the great sacrifice is the sacrifice of praise in the midst of your trial and test. Instead of fear, instead of doubt and unbelief and arguments and retaliation with your words and accusing the brethren like Cain accused his brother, feeling that he, his brother had stolen his birthright, you've got to put all of that aside and you have to look at yourself and say, hey, i got to deal with me i got to deal with my issues. It's not the government's fault. It's not the politician's fault. It's my fault for me elect, allowing them to be elected in, in so many different states. So we can curb that. We can change that. We can correct that with the help of God. God said if his people who are called by his name, that's another important thing right there. The word name means called by my authority, my character, my nature. He said, I will, for, and repent, I will forgive their sin, and then he said, I will heal their land. So we have to also remember that our faith in God and our prayers and our praying to God and in judging ourselves, God will heal not just ourselves, but our land as well. And that's what we want in this society today, especially in America. I love my country, and I love you. You're a member of the body of Christ. So let's go out there and do the work of God. God bless you.